if you don't turn it on off. Okay, so it, it, I just need to make sure my mic is working. Hello. So, um, I'm back for like a day because school. So yeah, basically I did a hell ton of stuff and I have suffered greatly. So basically what I have done is um, a bunch of improvement to the existing area. I mean, it's not like a bunch of improvement crates still right there. And there's this guy who show you a compactor which turns ten, 10 emerald into a block of emerald. And this guy will sell you a personal compactor which you can bring into the dungeon. So you do not need to go back to the, you know, main area every time you want to compact the, the emerald. Next, wait, I'm pretty slow right now. It's freaking one in the morning, and I he, here's a quote unquote funny story. Um, just give me a second. This this four lines of code took me three hours to figure it out, and I am so so angry in the same time. But but at the same time, I'm I'm quite happy that I achieve it by myself. I mean, wh when you say by yourself, I, I it doesn't really. Yeah, I, I I did not do it by myself. I I searched a hell of a lot of stuff in Reddit. It, though they did not help in a huge way, though they did help me a little bit. Okay, back to the to the thingy. Okay, so here, so I have some armor and stuff, and yeah, let let let, let me show you something. Just give me a second. So basically, these are new stuff that can be obtained. Oh my goodness, I'm so dumb. Why did I do that? There's currently four in in the la in the latest update. There's only four for now. Though I'm going to add more once I have the time. They somewhat like a perk stone. I have no idea what to call them. So basically, they are items that can be applied to any item. Well, um, it actually was meant to be put on weapon, but you could technically put it on any item, literally any item. But it, it was intended for weapons. So, I just do that. The first one is a fruit of frost. This fruit, yeah, you can just read the freaking thingy. So basically, it gives you a perk. Oh my goodness, I accidentally put the red thing on perk as well. I need to. I need to fix that one later. Um, uh, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It's I'm just so tired right now. It's almost one in the morning. So this will give you increased attack speed after hitting a mob. And if you take a look at the description, only one perk can be applied to an item. So where do you want to apply it? It literally tell you where to apply it. So let's bring this guy to the enchanting area. Also, I'm going to have a test subject. Which is a husk. So the first one that we are going to try is probably the. I, I mean, like all all of it, like the, the all four of it is unique and good on 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 their own way. So there's no really downside to each of them, and all and all of them is rare. And the only way to obtain them currently is using the crate system, which is luck based. So yeah, I'm so sorry about that. I, I'm probably going to like set up shop and mobs to drop them but uh, currently I have no time so yeah let's put the fruits of frost on this guy just press enchant there you go it will enter the rigorous dagger it give you yeah right down there under the the rarity area perk anger angi very angi so this, this is like your regular attack speed and this is after you hit yeah, it, that that is a huge increase in attack speed. It basically gives you haste too. Okay, and the next one is going to be the Bat Fang. The Bat Fang will give you Life Leech, will, which will gain a small portion of your health back on hit. It's supposed to be on hit. I, I forgot to add that. I need to edit the thingy again. God damn it. I, I, oh, I need to sleep soon. This is not like... Not, not like anybody care. 
Okay, and press enchant. The perk will be changed to lifesteal now. And now I can just go on. Oh, nope, that's spectator. Come on, hit me. Hit me harder, bro. Hit me harder. God damn it, you cannot do this on your own, can you? Come on, hit me. Hit me harder. So basically, you, you still get like saturation. But yeah, eventually, your saturation will run out. See, each hit. It will give you regeneration, not instant health, so it will not be too OP. Yeah. Good. That somewhat work? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, y you can see the health goes up quite fast when I hit the mob. Okay, so that's that. The next one is quite s a simple one, yet very, very... um great in my opinion greed this perk give you one emerald for every kill the more mob that you kill and you see the perk turn into greed now let me just kill this guy yeah there you go you get one emerald when you kill a mob and the last one is a, I have a huge and long description and in my opinion its uses is still very not clear. I really, don't, I really don't see the situation to use this perk currently, though in the future, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be very useful. Just let me go to the training dummy so I can actually show you. There's a training dummy down here. Yeah, there he is. Also, yeah, um, this book tell you the smithing. There's only like three for now, so yeah, good. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. So, oh wait. Oh yeah. You need to read the, the description. Oh wait a second. I I accidentally deleted it. Okay. There. Boom boom elixir. I I really have no. I I'm not creative enough to give it a good name. I I'm really just tired that right now. Code your weapon in this unholy concussion to apply the unstable perk to the item. Unstable. Have a 50% chance to create a small explosion that deals damage to its surrounding and also push enemies back. Do beware. The explosion may also damage you, so be careful. It's a AOE type of thing. See, it, it have a 50% chance to decorate that explosion thingy. See? A small AOE area. Also, it could damage you if you like not. I mean, like the damage it deals to you is not that much, but yeah, the knockback is still something else. Even though it's a 50% chance. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Actually. Okay, take that back. Yeah, but I'm just going to die doing this. There you go. If you die, you will die to unstable, blown up by unstable, which is suck. So yeah, this enchantment is, it, it's like a double-edged sword, it's good, but there's a cost to it, common sense. So that is for the perks, I will be recording another video on the other thing that I did before I upload the world download for the latest update. So yeah, um, I'm going to record it right now, um, see you guys in like 5 to 10 minutes.